Hello, in the following video I'm going to show you how to create a reverse polarity circuit with a Wi-Fi timer. We are on the main uh, website. I'm going to click on documentation and then on the Wi-Fi timers uh, cookbook. The first example here is a reverse polarity circuit. The way that circuit works is uh, we have two relays that determine the polarity of the voltage applied to the motor so we can drive it back and forth. The yellow wire controls the polarity and the orange wire uh, activates the motor. So if we look at the, at the diagram, you will notice that uh, when the trigger comes on, the orange wire activates and drives the motor. So it drives the motor forward. It depends how you connect the uh, motor. And then if, you, if it only drives the motor for a short period of time for T1. If you keep the trigger on, it's going, the motor is going to stop and wait until the trigger drops. When it uh, drops, it activates the yellow wire, which switches the polarity and also activates the motor itself. So what I have here, I already pre-connected the relays, motor and a timer. So first we would need to load the custom firmware. The functionality that we need is not part of the default list. So we wrote a custom firmware to enhance the timer. We would need to download the firmware and then load it onto the timer. So first click on the download firmware C01 link and download the firmware. Next, we would need to flash this firmware onto the timer. And to do that, we need to put the timer into the programming mode. The way we do it, we take the white wire and ground it and then supply power. So I, I'm going to just connect the white wire to the black and uh, supply the power. And that puts the timer into the configuration mode. What we need to do now is we need to find our Wi-Fi network generated by the timer. So here's the timer.shop.wifi. Uh, We're going to connect to that network. We're going to open the browser, going to the address 192.168.4.1, and it will display our main menu. Click on update the firmware option. Choose the file that we just uh, downloaded. On the PC or laptop, it will look slightly different. So select the file and then uh, upload. It might take a couple of seconds. And you will notice that the LED on the unit is going to be on. Uh, and then it will go off and the unit will flash. And then we can go back to the, uh, to the main menu and display the timer's configuration. You will notice that the uh, firmware name now say function C01 version 1100. Uh, uh, we can change the number of seconds for the T1. I'm going to change the uh, two seconds. And I'm going to keep the T2 for one second. The function number doesn't matter because this firmware contains only one function. And the trigger would be two and the rest uh, configurations uh, stays the same and we're going to click uh, go and save the configuration and now we can uh, test the timer so i'm going to uh, recycle the power and i'm going to use the blue wire with the trigger wire and connect it to the positive and that will activate the uh, rotation forward and then backwards and if i'll hold the trigger it will Rotate for two seconds and then stops. And if I hold the trigger, uh, the motor doesn't move. If I release the trigger, it's going to go back. Uh, that is it. Thank you so much.